hello youtube welcome back to my channel here i'm gonna show you how i make a glitter collection like my own personalized glitter collection um <clears throat> i purchased these little jars at my local beauty supply it's called generation nail supply so you know there were three stacks but you know i took them all apart and did a six stack so i'm gonna do six colors I'm gonna use these glitters right here and I will post a seller because they I bought these glitters in a big bunch so it came in like a bunch of different colors this also I purchased on I want to say Amazon I searched my browser history like or my purchase history but I couldn't find them again so I'll try and look for a link and try to search them up to see so you can like purchase them yourselves <clears throat> you can use any glitters that look similar you can find like those glitters at michael's like the martha stewart glitter collection things where it's like several different types of glitters or different all different colors all you have to do is just buy the same glitters in different colors that's all you gotta do like that they all look similar <clears throat> and they're all just a different shade of color so for this one I'm gonna use a hot pink glitter with a light pink glitter so you're gonna have two different glitters of the same kind and it's super easy you know like this one is a light blue and a dark blue it's very easy you can make them however you want them I want them really chunky and clear so I'm gonna try not to use too much glitter because I'm gonna use one of these glitters for my new set just because I couldn't decide what color I wanted to do and I wanted to have these options of chunky glitter I'm still gonna add more of these clear ones. <clears throat> and I'll keep it the same color range. This is a light blue. I would say these are clear glitters, clear neon glitters. I want it to have like a really chunky effect. I even added um, little stars. They're not stars. I don't know what they're, they're somewhat like stars. But you'll see later on in the video when I add them. I'm gonna mix my Young Nails Clear Acrylic with them. I want it to have more powder than the actual glitter. Just because I don't want it to be... I want it to have... Um, how do you say it? Basically swatch how they look at the end of the video I'm gonna swatch them right here I'm trying to decide which orange to do with it so I'm gonna go with the lighter neon it's super easy to make your own collections what I like about me doing my own colors is that your clients won't find them anywhere else but with you you know <clears throat> other people can try to make them but still at the moment you feel like oh it's mine you can't find it nowhere else you know i like to have that variety Ugh. i don't know how to say that word but yeah have a lot of different types of glitters 
I'm like a glitter whore. <laughs> I think I have more, more glitters than actual acrylic color from what my clients say. But I just can't get enough of glitter. I feel like every set has to have glitter, especially for myself. That's just my personal preference, you know, because I just can't have enough glitter. <laughs> but I'm doing this to all of them. You know, I shake them up, see how it looks, see if I'm gonna add anything else. And oh, I'm gonna also add these little flakes I've purchased at my local nail supply. It's that same nail supply called Generation Nail Supply. It's located in Oakland, California. I am from the Bay Area, you know. So I'm over here trying to decide which colors match the glitters or what I like with the glitters. Just keeping it the same, you know, kind of shades. stars I was talking about they're like the four pointed star <clears throat> I will post also the seller I purchased these from I'm not really adding too many of them like half of this little I don't even know the amount of it but these little measure scoops work perfect for this type of stuff but here I am mixing them seeing if I like this or not so far to me, it's perfect. Per blah, blah, blah. Perfect. So I'm going to think of a name for this collection. To me, it sounds like it's going to be like a galaxy type of collection because I added the little four-pointed stars. <clears throat> I'm going to try and name each and every color. So this is my powder, the Young Nails powder. It's like a lot of it. This thing will last me for months. Using this scoop, I'm almost feeling it to the top, but not all the way, so I can have room to shake them up. just like that <clears throat> I'm so excited to use these on my new set as you can see I have no nails on because I already took my set off and I'm ready to do a new set so shake them up real good make sure everything is consistent so here we go Ooh, look at this one see how easy it is to make your own set super easy customize them to however you want however you like you can even make sets of 10 or this is just a little six colors i'm gonna test them out to see if it comes out 
I know they're gonna come out how I wanted them, how I pictured them in my head. You can also leave them like that, like raw glitters, and just use them. And then later on, you know, just add them on by themselves. You don't really need to mix it with the acrylic, but that's just my preference. See how pretty they came out. This is exactly what I wanted. Where they're chunky, but it's not like packed in there. I wanted it to be like a clear, chunky nail. So you can see through it. And you can even tap them on top with um, jelly nails. Oh, that gives it a pretty effect. I'll show you that in, my, in the set I'm going to be doing. But, you know. Hope you like this, you know, and you try it. It's super easy. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.